The Otanagan Lighthouse has been a staple in the town for over 150 years, lighting the way for so many ships coming into what was once a bustling port city. Local 3's Haley Schoengar takes us inside and shows us around one of the first lighthouses to light the shores of Lake Superior. So welcome to the Otanagan Harbor Lighthouse. Uh, this house was built in 1866. It replaced an earlier house that was built right over in the grassy area between the house and the tree uh, back in 1851. So that building rotted away pretty quickly and so after only 15 years they had to replace it. And so they built this one on a nice thick stone foundation with the Milwaukee Cream City brick above that. And <clears throat> then in 1890 they added the summer kitchen to the back of the house to try and uh, relieve the heat from the wood-burning cook stove that was lit all the time. Uh, relieve that heat because on a, even on a day like today, it would have been probably close to 100 degrees in the house. So we're now on actually in the basement of the lighthouse. Uh, most people think of basements as being subterranean, but you can't do that here. We're so close to the river and so close to the lake, if you dig down a foot, you're in water. Uh, back in uh, 1892, when Mr. Corrigan got permission to make this his, his formal dining room, uh, he had this window doubled in size and he added that window and because he wanted to have more light in here so his family could see to eat. Because back then, we the people bought everything that a keeper needed to do his job, but not for the family. Before heading upstairs, the last room on the basement level is the parlor. So this room it used to be the kitchen. And uh, after 1892, they uh, put the kitchen in downstairs, the summer kitchen. Well, the family lived here year-round, and they decided they liked it better using that kitchen year-round. And so they dismantled this kitchen and made it another parlor because they really needed more space for the family to enjoy, especially on rainy days. So this is now the west parlor, and the east parlor is adjoining. So this little room in here is the keeper's bedroom. So this is where the keeper would take his cat naps. Uh, our keepers were allowed to take five hour long cat naps a day. The rest of the time he was working. And uh, so this is where they would take their naps. The advantage to this room was he could jump up, look out the east window and see the whole harbor and see if any ships had come in while he was napping. Or he could look out the north window and see if there's any ships coming in or on their way out that he might have missed. This is the uh, later office. Uh, originally it was the oil storage room and uh, uh, there would have been shelves around for all the boxes of oil. He would have had a year's supply all the time. Every time the supply ship came they would restock his shelves to give him, make sure he had a year's supply because they didn't know when the supply should be back or if it had all the supplies you needed. Going up one more set of stairs is the floor where the family used to sleep. You will see one main bedroom and then two additional smaller bedrooms. This is the west bedroom and um, if you try and imagine that room without that dormer window, that ceiling came down across there like it did all the way across and uh, so there was no light in this room, no ventilation. Uh, what they had here was this window opened into the hallway and you were able to borrow light from the hallway to light this room. As you can imagine, it wasn't very effective. So welcome to the top. This is the lantern and uh, we are, well they say it's 40 feet uh, above the water. Our feet are 31 feet above the ground. <clears throat> so the focal plane of the light is center uh, of the lamp. This is the actual lamp that was in the lens that you already saw over in the museum, but this is the actual one. This is 150 years old. The light was deactivated in 1963, but is still lit as it guides many into the harbor of Ontonagon to this day. Tours of the lighthouse are available Tuesday through Saturday, beginning at 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. through the Ontonagon County Historical Society. Reporting in Ontonagon, Haley Schongart, Local 3 News.